Hey makers, this is Yana with Makis, and today I'm going to show you a tutorial for iPad on Cricut Design Space version 5.6. They added the offset tool. Be sure to update your Cricut Design Space before you start this tutorial. You have the latest version on your device. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe for more helpful tutorial. Okay, well, let's get started. Okay, so here we are in Cricut Design Space. Go ahead and select the text tool. Now I'm going to use my systems fonts and I like to use the font Arial. I'm going to go ahead and type that in. So here we are, we have the text. As you can see, the text is selected. In this case, it's selected green. On the computer, it's selecting blue. Not sure why the different colors, but in either case, it's selected green and now you can go ahead and start typing. So take your keyboard, and you can enter your text. Let's say new offset I O S. You can see. And let's go ahead and close that out. So now I can move it around easily. So now to find the offset tool, go ahead and select edit. And on the bottom right here, you can see the little pentagon shape, it says offset. So go ahead and click it. Now, as you can see, the offset is showing here your preview with this um, kind of dark pink outline. You can either drag your slider to see the different options, or you can click on the number and type it in down here below. So go ahead and try some different number. I'm gonna go and try 0.125. And when you hit return or enter, you can see the offset has, has been adjusted and I think this is working really well. So now I wanna show you uh, the corners and the, the weld offsets. So for the corners, it's the same thing as you have on the computer, the rounded or more pointy stretch edge I'm going to go ahead and keep the rounder. I like that one better. And for the weld offset, first I want to show you what it looks like without it. So I'm going to turn it off. As you can see now in the preview, weld offset is off. So the offset is around every single letter. That is if you want every single letter to have the offset separately. Let me go ahead and hit down so you can see what that looks like. Let's change the color to something lighter so we can see. Apply. And I'm gonna pull up the layers palette so you can see it better. As you can see on the layers palette, each individual offset is on its own layer. That is if you are doing something that you need each letter to be separate. And now I wanna show you what it looks like if you choose not to do that. So if you choose to keep the weld offset on. So let's go ahead and do this one more time. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit text, set my font, and it's really close to the other one. And you can move it if you like, but then you have to highlight it one more time. Let's change our text, choosing the keyboard, Let's say offset weld. I'll hide my keyboard. And then let's hit edit and hit offset. So now I'm gonna keep everything the same. Your previous distance has stayed the same. The only thing I'm gonna change is I'm gonna select the weld offset. I'm gonna turn it to green and I'm gonna hit done. So let's go ahead and change the background color so we can see it better. Change it to blue, hit apply. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you the layers. So if you scroll all the way down, you can see the offset in blue is all on one layer. That's because we selected the offset weld when we were working with our offset um, preview. So now if you want to have your offset and the text stay together, be sure you select it all. 
and go ahead and either attach if you want them to be on the same layer or you can go ahead and do um, group. I'm going to hit group just so I can keep them together. This makes it easier for text and the weld to play with the sizes. You, of course, can do the same thing with the one on the top. You can go ahead and do group. And now they're all grouped together, so you can go ahead and work with the, with the sizing if you like. Okay, so that's the new iOS update with the offset. Very, very, very helpful. Now it's easier to work on your iPad or on your iPhone and create offset designs. If you love this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and I'll create more tutorials like this. Thank you.